Well, you know, uh, w there were some things that were better uh, in this ball game than, than the last time we played. I thought uh, establishing the 10-second line defensively, Christian and Randy and Mike Pettis and Julian all did a good job of that. I thought we got up in the passing lanes and were able to force some turnovers as a result of, uh, of the pressure. Um, that was probably the best thing that we did. Uh, we, we uh, I thought, played played pretty solid uh, offensively in terms of understanding that, that when we had the big guys in there that we were going to try to utilize them, try to get the ball in their hands. Um, you know, we, we are not in great condition still at this point in the season with uh, some of our bigs that can't play long, sustained minutes. Um, we're, we're having a struggle with those guys putting the ball on the floor when they catch it down low and uh, creating problems. Easy baskets become um, events after they catch it just based on the fact that they, they you know, don't, don't just rise and score versus putting the ball on the floor and dribbling it. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, Bo Hannon did, did some positive things uh, defensively for us. Uh, we've got to get more rebounding uh, out of um, out of our bigs. That was a, a really tiny team that we outboarded by by six. Um, thought we got careless with the ball offensively in the in the in the second half. Um, you know we're we're not a fine tuned machine at this point, but we've got uh, uh, we've got you know another week to try to get it get it there. Um, really looking forward to our opener um, from the standpoint that. Uh, it's going to really tell us a lot about, you know, who we are right now. Uh, Pacific is a very, very fine team. It's one of the best coach teams in the country. Um, they won 24 ball games last year. Number of starters coming back. Uh, we're going to need to get our students out here and start creating that atmosphere for the um, for, for the special event center that, that that we should have in this building. And I think the students are the key to that. Um, we need to get a uh, a great crowd in here. We need to have a live building on, on Friday night because it's a it's an important game for us. Uh, it's our opener. We've got to learn how to win at home first, and uh, then we got to learn how to win on the road, and then we got to learn how to win at home in conference, and then we got to learn how to win on the road in conference. There's four stages to the season, so this is our first opportunity, and for that reason, it's a it's an important game, and uh, hopefully. Um, uh, we'll, we'll make continued improvement. I thought we were improved from last week to this week, and we've got uh, oh, about five or six practices to try to uh, get ready for an opponent that um, is going to probably be in the NCAA tournament. I felt like it was all created by the by the defense and the pressure. Um, offensively, uh, we're we're still very very generic right now. We we uh, have always run 20 to 30 plays. Uh, consistently well and executed them throughout the course of the season. Uh, we're, we don't have, uh, I think we have one play in. That's it. Um, so, and those things will continue to happen up until January where, where, where we'll, uh, we'll finally have an offense that looks where it should. Um, biggest issue is no carryover and guys not familiar with what, what we're attempting to do. Uh, we've allowed them to play out of their, their little dribble game. Um, tonight for about six minutes that they used last year. Um, really didn't get a great deal out of it. Um, some quick shots, some long shots. Uh, we'll try to spend a little time on that as well in our preparation. This was about these two games. The, the minute distribution was about these two games. It was about guys that have been practicing, guys that have been working hard, uh, coaches trying to identify who can and who can't. And, uh, I, you know, and unless our conditioning is so poor, I don't anticipate having to do that. But uh, hopefully, we'll be able to play more guys, more extended minutes. I'm sure that that uh, that we'll probably be more active. You know, on the sideline, we're, we're spending a great deal of time explaining to guys. We're we're viewing this these two games as an opportunity to bring guys out of the game, talk to them, instruct, teach as far as when they go back into a game, being able to go back in and understand what they did wrong, what we're looking for, and try to improve it. I, th I thought our flow into offense was, was better, and it's, it's an important part of offense, getting in there quickly versus walking the ball up the floor. I thought we did that better for the most part. There were some exceptions, but I thought we were better at that. 